Atopic dermatitis is a condition characterized by dry, itchy, and inflamed skin. Severe uncontrolled atopic dermatitis can significantly disrupt daily life. People with this chronic skin condition may struggle in school, work, and personal relationships. The constant itch and discomfort can lead to sleep disturbances and increased stress. Additionally, the visible signs of eczema can lead to feelings of embarrassment and low self-esteem. For many people, atopic dermatitis is a relentless enemy always on the attack, coming and going for years or even throughout life. As the most common type of eczema, it affects up to 20% of children and 2-10% of adults worldwide. Often, patients struggle to control their moderate to severe atopic dermatitis with conventional therapies. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has recently approved Leberkizumab, marketed under the brand name Ebglis, for treating moderate to severe atopic dermatitis in adults and children 12 years of age and older, whose condition is poorly controlled by topical therapies. To grasp how Leberkizumab treats atopic dermatitis, we must first understand the underlying causes of the condition. In people with atopic dermatitis, the immune system malfunctions and becomes overactive. This skin condition is characterized by an overactive Th2 cell response, leading to increased production of type 2 cytokines, primarily interleukin-4 and interleukin-13. Recent evidence suggests that interleukin-13 may play a more significant role in atopic dermatitis. The binding of interleukin-13 to interleukin-13 receptor subunit alpha induces dimerization with interleukin-4 receptor subunit alpha. This activates downstream signaling pathways and increases pro-inflammatory gene expression. Interleukin-13 contributes to the recruitment and production of immunoglobulin E, a type of antibody associated with allergic inflammatory reactions. Additionally, it damages the skin barrier by down-regulating filaggrin and loracrin, proteins essential for skin integrity. This barrier disruption can lead to increased water loss and allow irritants, allergens, and microorganisms to penetrate the skin, further exacerbating inflammation. Interleukin-13 is also a pyridogen, contributing to the intense itching often associated with atopic dermatitis. Leberkizumab is a humanized monoclonal antibody. It binds to soluble interleukin-13 and prevents formation of interleukin-13 receptor alpha and interleukin-4 receptor alpha complex. This blocks interleukin-13-mediated downstream signaling. Blockade of signaling reduces inflammation, relieves symptoms of atopic dermatitis, and improves the skin's barrier function. The approval was based on results from the Advocate 1, Advocate 2, and ADHERE studies, which included over 1,000 adults and children aged 12 and older with moderate to severe eczema who have not found relief from topical prescription medicines. In the trials, patients received leberkizumab or a placebo for 16 weeks. Leberkizumab was administered subcutaneously, starting with a 500 mg dose, and followed by 250 mg every two weeks. Each trial assessed leberkizumab in achieving clear or almost clear skin after 16 weeks of treatment. In the Advocate trials, a significantly higher percentage of leberkizumab-treated patients achieved clear or almost clear skin compared to those on placebo. Moreover, 77% of patients who achieved clear skin at 16 weeks maintained these results at one year with once monthly dosing. Itch relief was another benefit of leberkizumab. On average, 43% of leberkizumab-treated patients experienced itch relief at 16 weeks, compared to 12% of those on placebo. The ADHERE trial evaluated leberkizumab in combination with topical corticosteroids for moderate to severe atopic dermatitis. At 16 weeks, 41.2% of leberkizumab-treated patients achieved clear or almost clear skin, compared to 22.1% on placebo. This suggests that leberkizumab plus topical corticosteroid is more effective than topical corticosteroid alone for atopic dermatitis. The approval of leberkizumab offers hope for individuals with atopic dermatitis seeking lasting relief from their symptoms. And that's it for today's pharmacology video.
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more pharmacology content.